Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present uh, our solution, uh, which was tested in the past two and a half years here in India. Our company, Technoton Sensors, is an Indian company. We represent the Russian Belarusian joint venture Technoton, which is located in Minsk. And uh, they are in the field of the manufacturing fuel level sensor and fuel flow meter for the past uh, 14 years. So we came here, sorry, I think I have to. So we started three years ago trying to get to the market and uh, at that particular time, there was a question. Is there any technology which can give us accurate reading of the fuel uh, consumption and which give us the possibility to save on the fuel expenses? So we tested this solution in quite difficult uh, environmental conditions which are in India, in different parts of the India. We currently have over 1,200 vehicles with fuel management uh, running all over India. And uh, we should say that, yes, there is a proven solution. And this proven solution, I'm going to represent you here. There are certain clusters of the uh, equipment in the transport, gensets. Uh, in all these clusters, uh, the specific condition of the uh, equipment operation required specific uh, technology solution, which gives the possibility to read accurately either level or flow of the fuel and calculate <clears throat> in end of the story fuel consumption. One of the solution is the flow meter, which can be used on a heavy truck, on the tractors, on the <clears throat> gen sets. Another solution is a flow, uh, sorry, fuel level meter, which is uh, installed in the fuel tank and give accurate reading from the fuel tank. The, those happy people who have uh, new vehicles which are equipped with the canvas interface can read certain data from this canvas interface and use this data without any additional equipment required. And the last segment, the segment of the small utility vehicles, small cars, that's where the question is how to measure it because uh, sometimes there is no place to place any equipment. The consumption is too low to put the flow meter, and uh, the <clears throat> space in the fuel tank is too small to put the fuel level sensor. So what we can do in this case? In this case, there is uh, a possibility, depending on the uh, engine type, to measure the pulses which are coming to the petrol uh, injectors opening injector for the injection of the fuel and based on this pulses calculate and pulses give you <coughs> uh, the consumption volume of the fuel consumed or otherwise what we can do we can take the data from built-in fuel level sensor uh, process this data to filter splashes of the fuel uh, process this data to <coughs> Uh, keep it all the time and through the tracking device deliver it to server and calculate the fuel consumption. So let's go one by one. First, fuel level sensor. Fuel level sensor we use is capacitive type, uh, so there is no any mechanical part. Uh, we are using only digital fuel level sensor because digital fuel level sensor has the built-in filtering and built-in thermal compensation, which is uh, absolutely necessary in the Indian market. Uh, both interfaces, 232 or 485, can be used. Recently, uh, the uh, fuel level sensor was uh, developed and tested for canvas interface. <clears throat> uh, what uh, differs from other manufacturers is the ergonomic bayonet type fastening where the screws are under the cap of the sensor. It's not visible, so it's quite difficult to uh, remove the sensor for those people who doesn't know technology. Uh, we use unique spring type bottom 
uh, support, which is skip and sensor fixed between the bottom and the top. So there is no move of the sensor in the fuel tank while a big <coughs> truck with the fuel tank capacity 800 liters, uh, half filled, moving on Indian roads, you know what doesn't mean, I believe. So all these moves and harsh braking and speeding and harsh braking, the fuel is moving in the fuel tank like the uh, <coughs> uh, nine ball storm in, 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 in ocean. So you have to keep sensor vertically. You, you should not give it the chance to move left or right. That's for we <coughs> develop this support. So the digital processing of the data on board of fuel level sensor is actually taking the signal from the level, uh, digitizing the signal, sending it to processor, and processor is filtering and pre-processing the, the, the <coughs> capacitance to convert it into fuel volume, not level volume, because while we're installing the sensor, we do the calibration, and in the end of the story, when you have the data, you have two very important uh, parameters of the fuel. One parameter is the temperature of the fuel, and another parameter is volume of the fuel in the fuel tank. Uh, why we need this volume? We need this volume because we are <coughs> experiencing in the Genset, for example, uh, during the June, May in Delhi, and you know what I'm talking about, when 45 is in shadow, we experience a temperature changing from 32, 33 degrees in the night to 70, 75 degrees in the daytime, particularly in Genset because in the canopy, the fuel <coughs> level is fixed in, in the fuel tank and there is no ventilation, so it's very much heat. So the fuel temperature compensation should be there, and it works. So what we have in end of the story out of it? We have such the graph in the software, which show very clearly, oh, sorry, very clearly filling and the test. This is a simple case. This is the driver without any experience, just draining the fuel from the fuel tank. The smart drivers doing during the driving. But even in this case, when you have a proper system, you can see that the fuel consumption, normal fuel consumption, is very different from the fuel consumption when somebody open return pipe and put it in a plastic jar. And this is very well visible in the graphs, very easy to discover. And all these reports are, of course, delivered to the customer on the daily, weekly, or monthly basis. This is the case of the slow theft. Uh, I just made this graph because we also <clears throat> take in very important information from the uh, vehicle. This information is RPM. And RPM is very important to understand what is the driver behavior. And other information is the speed, of course. So you can see that uh, while stopping the vehicle is running all the time, this is the, the place where the theft happened. And this is a zoom of this place. So 40 liters of the fuel were taken in 10 kilometers drive, but is recorded, registered, and can be presented to the driver with the timestamp, location, where it happened, and all other details which can convince him uh, to surrender. So fuel level sensors, advantages, relatively low cost, do not require changes in engine fuel supply system. Any fuel type measurement, petrol, diesel, heat and oil, anything can be done. Fuel fitting and drainage control also can be done. Disadvantage, when a standard sensor is in use, relatively low accuracy. Specific software for data processing required on the server side. You cannot just send the data on the server. And 
pretend that you know the fuel consumption. You have to process it on the server side, get reported in a certain way. And uh, slow fuel drainage events recovery is possible with high quality sensors only, which uh, of course required also advanced software processing. The next technology which we are using is a digital flow meter. Digital flow meter is a device which is measuring the flow of the uh, fuel in the <coughs> engine just after the, the, the pump in the engine room. Uh, we have two type of the uh, flow meters. Differential, where you have two pipes connected, the direct pipe and return pipe, and you measure the difference between them. And one chamber, which can be used on the small tractors, on the small equipment, where the return pipe is reconnected from the fuel tank to the uh, direct pipe after the fuel level sensor. So in the loop, there is no move. This is the diagram how to connect it, the technical specification. We can measure from 0.5 liters per hour to 500 liters per hour. Inaccuracy supplies minus 1%. Supply voltage, very important operating temperature, up to plus 45 degrees Celsius. You never meet minus 40 here, so it's not important. <clears throat> uh, these are the diagram how it's connected in both sides. And the output of this is the pulses. So if you want to use it, you have to have the uh, tracking device which know how to count pulses and send it to the server. So what we have here is a very technological approach to uh, do the measurement. And uh, this uh, equipment is metro Metrologically tested. Uh, and that's what you have in the end of the story. In the end of the story, you have the fuel consumption in KMPL ML is, is a Tata vehicle. For this Tata, 4.72 kilometers per liter is very good result, extremely good result. And on a graph, you can see the consumption when it is get into the maximum and when where it is on the minimum level so there is a way to monitor the driver behavior if it is over fueling the engine over or over, over gassing or not now what to select what is better fuel flow meter or fuel level meter for this particular reason, we put in one vehicle, in the same vehicle, uh, digital flow meter and fuel level sensor. And we run it for some time. This is report for one month. In month July 2014, uh, the vehicle went through 12,330 kilometers, quite a big amount. The consumption by fuel flow meter, 3,209 by fuel level sensor, 3,237. So difference 28 liters about, or 0.88%. This is the real data. If somebody doesn't believe me, come to our store. We will show you in the system. Now, if we're talking about CANBAS, those happy people who have it in the system, or maybe unhappy, <coughs> uh, as you probably know, the no manufacturer allow uh, to connect to the wires of the CANBAS. So what we develop, we develop the CANBAS crocodile, which is contactless. You just crimp it on the wires of two low and high uh, wires of the CANBAS, main CANBAS, connect it to the <coughs> master CAN, which is the adapter, taking the information from CANBAS and sending this information in a certain protocol to the tracking device. Taking this, you can have similar information as you have from either DFM or fuel level sense. So, advantages. Any type of fuel measurement can be done, no additional sensor required, easy to install and use. Disadvantage, not available or low accuracy in old design vehicles. And usually no fuel filling or drainage data are possible with additional CAN bus fuel level sense installation. Why usually no fuel filling? Because the standard 
sensors which are used today in the vehicle with scan bus have low accuracy. Uh, very important to have the vehicle tracking device in the system which can read data from uh, RS232 or 485 interface, can uh, read the data from specific protocol, and <clears throat> very important that this device also can count the pulses, as I said previously. Server software, very important part, extremely important part because server should have the model for the sensor parameter configuration. Filtering time, uh, the trigger point for automatic identification of filling or theft, uh, the conversion table from volume to, uh, from pulses to volume or from uh, level to volume, uh, thermal compensation uh, also is advantage because some sensors doesn't have the thermal compensation. And uh, we use the software which is developed by a company named Gurtam in Minsk. Uh, software is extremely good. My colleague Anissa from Gurtam will continue my presentation to give you more about software. She is professional. I don't want to get into this. Uh, so what is the challenges when you when you want to <coughs> implement the fuel monitoring, what are the challenges? Climate, terrain, road environment. That's for everyone. So we can, if we went through it, you can also do. Bad previous experience of the clients with unproven technology. That's what we faced two years ago. Because everybody was saying, you know, somebody already tried it, never worked, because if liquid, fuel is liquid, you cannot measure it. We passed through it. Time-consuming integration process with the tracker manufacturer. That is really time-consuming. Unfortunately, we <clears throat> tried with several tracker manufacturer. It takes the time. But we are ready to work hard to shorter this time. Uh, we want to uh, implement this solution as much as possible in the country because we do believe that it saves a lot. Installation and maintenance issue. Installation the main thing because installation of both fuel level sensor and fuel flow meter is not very simple procedure. You have to remove the tank, you have to drill the hole, you have to uh, clean the tank, you have to put the fuel level sensor, the time consuming operation to calibrate the fuel uh, tank because if you have 800 liters fuel tank it takes the time to calibrate on the 30 points. You have to have this fuel so uh, and most important that vehicles are spread all over the country <laughs> is really too difficult to do it. And uh, conflict resolution is normally coming when uh, you are reporting the theft and the person uh, doesn't accept it. But it can be done. Uh, what is our exposure today? We do have 220 ambulances Tata Winder running in uh, Arisa, is the government project. All of them are equipped with a fuel level sensor. We do have uh, trucks and buses made by Tata, Ashok Leyland, Parad Bands, Tata Keepers. Uh, from this, uh, 560 are with fuel level sensor and 40 with DFM. Uh, we have plant equipment like dozers, wheel loaders, JCB uh, with both fuel level sensor and DFM. Tractors only with DFM and gensets only with uh, fuel level sensor. Uh, case study. This is 420 vehicle of the Windler for one, one day report. Uh, this is ambulances, emergency, so they are running 24 hours. In total, this 420 vehicle done, sorry, uh, almost 69,000 kilometers. This is the fuel filled. This is the fuel consumed by the fuel level sensor. The average for KPML 10.15, those who knows, is very good for Tata Winkler, particularly in the uh, rural area. These vehicles are spread all over the Adisa state. And uh, fuel pilferage, which was recorded in this particular day, only five liters. Everybody knows that they are under control. Everything is transparent, so people doesn't want to make the trouble. Uh, Gen set at cell tower side. You can see in December 13, 48 liters was stolen. This is it. And you can see this, the blue line, is the temperature during the day, up and down, up and down, about 25, 30 degrees differences. Now, uh, in January, it was only 20 liters. 
No, they, 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 they try to do it slow, slow, small, small. Yes. February 10 liters, in March zero, in April today zero. Third, pharmacy working. This is very interesting case. This is the excavator. Now you can see that in the very beginning, 379 liters or 19% was stolen in September. In October, it was only 170 liters. Three months, the driver starved. In February, he cut the wires, took all the fuel from the fuel tank, and quit the job. So in March, we have a new driver. Again, 38%. Next month, zero. Next month, he tried again slowly. Does it work or not? It doesn't. So other two months, zero. Till now, he's working. Now, the 1,131 liters was recorded as stolen, which is amount in money 67,860 rupees. And if we estimate saving on 15% from this amount of money spent for fuel is 1,31,000 in one year only with one only excavator. Uh, with DFM, it's not that funny. No theft. Vehicle consume, you know how much consume, you know how much it works, <laughs> you know everything, so you sleep well. This is for Barad Benz, is the uh, tippers working in the mines all day, all night, climbing up, going down, so it's heavy environment. Consumption is quite high, 1.18, one liter. Uh, one kilometer per liter. This is the tractor, agricultural. Uh, I don't think 3.6 liters per hour is a high value. And this is the Tata 3118 uh, mileage, KMPL 4.01. So, where we are? This is one month of the bus operation public bus, intercity bus. Mileage, 9,600 kilometers. Fuel field, 21.53. Fuel consume.